Can you hear me, sir? Boom. Sir, can you hear me? Check, check. Uh, shoot. Can we begin? Hi, Can I have your first question? Mr. President, si Ian Cruz po sa GMA News Manila. Uh, sir, sa tingin niyo po ba nagkaroon ng uh, kapabayaan yung local government sa kahandaan sa Bagyong Ulysses? I, 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 I cannot hear you. I, um, I have a... Apo. Mahina ang ano ko sa... Sir sa, tingin, sa motor. Okay. Sir, sa tingin niyo po ba nagkaroon ng kapabayaan yung mga LGU sa kahandaan sa Bagyong Ulysses? And uh, especially do not sa... believe in that. That's garbage. Alam mo, lahat ng mga the one in charge sa mga yung preparations for emergency, long before dumating yung typhoon, naka deploy na yan mga tao dito including the the nearest uh, yung mga makinarya nandiyan na sa uh, the, the nearest to the provinces na which we really suspect to be uh, prone to flood Sir, what about yung mga releasing ng uh, tubig sa dam? Uh, may marami po mga nagireklamo ng mga LGU, hindi rin po na-coordinate sa kanila. Sa, sa dam, you have to release it. Otherwise, you have a catastrophe. You, you, you have to release it. Every dam in this world, pagka puno na yung tubig, re-release talaga yan. Otherwise, makalat yan. Pag nag nasira, you have, a, as I said, a catastrophe in your hands. Sir, for my uh, second question po, yung Bicol region po, uh, widely devastated ng Rolly and uh, Bagyo ng Ulysses. Uh, ma marami po nangyari din ngayon sa Cagayan, sa NCR and sa other region. Umaasa po yung mga taga Bicol. Uh, alam ko po, kaya po kayo nandito, sana po hindi raw sila mapabayaan, especially yung Katanduanes. Ang pinag-usapan na naman dito, kung anong tulong. Lahat ng departamento, may contingency plan yan sila. That's why some of them are here, Secretary Evel. They have the money already. Hindi pa kami magkapoprate. Meron na silang pera. Sinadya ko yan. So it's a matter of assessment. You cannot go on spending spree without knowing what you are spending for. So kailangan nila ng assessment. Give them time. Problema because that is government money. So you run the risk of, oh, kaso, kaso. Give them time to make the assessment. I said, my question to every secretary who is with me here now in Bicol, nandun ng iba sa Cagayan Valley. As always, uh, do you have the money? Uh, pag sabi meron, no. Okay, we are government workers. What are we supposed to do? In our work, sit on our ass. And even if you, without even the, the typhoons coming in, even if you have nothing to do, you might as well prepare really for the eventuality. Alam ko yan, I've been mayor for 22 years sa Davao. Alam ko na yung baha, sunog, landslide, dinaanan ko. That is what I am implementing here. So yung assessment before you begin to spend money. But the, yung, we, we do not have so much machineries. But they are here in Bicol yung ano in anticipation sa typhoon. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Jenny from TB5, Mayor. Mayor, um, follow up lang namin, your reaction lang po, kasi marami din pa rin nag-criticize na naging mabagal daw yung pagtugon ng government dito sa kalamidad. Storya lang yan? <laughs> kailan pa ba, kailan pa ba na ito tumakbo rin ng gobyerno na mabilis? 
you go right away and spend money, you land uh, with the ombudsman. So give them time to make the proper assessment and all. Ang wala, wala, saan ang bagal dito? Nandyan ang pagkain, the housing nandyan. They are ready to implement. They have, sabi ko, they have the money. Kung politika yan, sa totoo lang. That's a political punchline. Mayor Las, kasi you went po doon sa Ginobatan Albay at nakausap niyo po yung mga residente regarding sa quarrying. Ano na po yung follow-up doon sa, you've mentioned, magsasagawa po ng investigation. Ano na po yung follow-up po doon? Again, I... Sa quarrying po doon sa, you went po, Mayor Las, last week sa Ginobatan Albay. At yung cry po ng mga residente is stop yung quarrying doon. Kasi daw, yun daw yung naging dahilan kaya nagkaroon ng... Hindi ko rin talaga makuha ulit. Quarrying po. Ginabatan oh. Albay. Uh, yung sa Albay, um, akala ko dito, ay, nandoon na, ay, 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 ordered si Mato, General Simato, who is the DNR, to stop the quarry. Pati dito sa ano, tumuyan itong uh, small mining. Kaya puro butas-butas yung bukid. Pagpasok ng tubig doon sa butas ng mining mining dyan, itilus in the soil, the foundation, and that's why you have the landslide. Well, what's scary is that uh, yung mga minero, ang bahay nila nasa baba. Of all the stupid things that you can really think of. Nandun sa baba, yeah, sa bagay, hindi nila makuha yan na it, I said it will loosen the foundations of the bukid and cause the last light. Hi sir, good afternoon po. Sir, sa inyo pong pag-iikot, yung assessment nyo po, sa tingin niyo po, Kung nagkaroon na tayo ng Department of Disaster matagal na, eh, we could have avoided this damage? We, we're having a resistance. Sa Congress mismo. May, may iba, duble na daw, uh, uh, a duplication of work. Tama na daw yung isa. So sa akin, okay lang. I, I can do it in the meantime na, baski yan lang. What is important is that you have the machineries and you have the equipment and you have the money and people are there deployed before the typhoon comes. Sir, last na po. Yung ano lang po, sir, may mga lugar na hindi naman dati binabaha pero kayong binaha na meron ding mga na lahar po na hindi naman dati binadaanan ng lahar. Do you think, sir, uh, what is your stand on climate change, sir? Too much water. It's climate change, actually. It is climate change. That was my topic when I was talking uh, in the summit. During the typhoon, I was attending a ASEAN summit. Doon binira ko yung, yung climate change na yan. So, too much water. The ocean is becoming hot. E yung tubig, umaakyat doon sa ano, yung vapor. Vapor man yan, pero marami. It accumulates in the sky and then ibubuhos niya yan. Now, the other thing is, pag hindi ninyo ako pinaalis, pag nahulog yung aeroplano ko, uh, paki... Um, gusto kong...